So today we're going to talk about the basics of U substitution. So U substitution is used in integration to make it easier to integrate in certain scenarios where you can't just integrate normally. So let's let's look at an example and that will make things a little bit easier. So let's take the problem integral of square root of x minus 2 dx. Now we see that inside the square root we have x minus 2 dx and if it was just integral of square root of x dx we could have just done x raised to the half power dx equals and then add 1 to the exponent so x to the third divided by 2 and then divide by 3 divided by 2 which would be multiplying by the reciprocal which is 2 divided by 3 and since it is an indefinite integral you add the c but if you look here we have x minus 2 inside the radical we can't just disregard the x minus 2 so what we do is you use u substitution so you said u equals to x minus 2 and then you take the derivative of whatever this is so derivative of u is du and the derivative of x is just 1 and the derivative of 2 which is a constant is just 0 so you get just du equals dx now we can rewrite this problem and have integral of square root of u du now this looks a lot like this problem doesn't it so what we can do is use the same technique we can just add one we can rewrite it as u to the half du and then we can just add one to the exponent so it's three divided by two multiply by the reciprocal of this because we're dividing by this number and that means we're multiplying by the reciprocal so we'll multiply by two divided by three and add a c because it is an indefinite integral but we're not done since we did use u substitution and the original problem was in terms of x we want to replace the u with x and what does u equal? u equals x minus 2 so this is x minus 2 to the 3 divided by 2 times 2 over 3 plus c and that is the solution for that problem Let's take the integral of dx over parenthesis 8x minus 1 cubed. Now, again, we have a coefficient with, with an x raised to the 1 power. So the derivative of that would just be 8 and the derivative of the constant would just be a 0. So what we can do is set u equal to 8x minus 1. And in this case, again, we're not worried about what it's raised to. We're just worried about what's inside right now, for now. And we take the derivative of that. So du equals 8, and the derivative of the constant is 0. So that's 8dx. But this time, we don't have du equals dx we have du equals 8 dx so what we need to do is divide both sides by 8 because we want dx because in our original problem we have dx not 8 dx so we divide both sides by 8 and we get 1 eighth of du equals dx now we can rewrite that problem and remember you can always take the constant out so the constant is going to be multiplied by the integral and then du over u cubed. I'm just going to rewrite the problem here. du over u cubed. To make it even easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the u, what, this is 1 over u cubed. So as we learned in algebra, 
if you take u to the negative 3, that's the same as 1 over u cubed. So I would write u to the negative 3 du. And now I can just use the int rules of integration and take 1 eighth, which is the constant that just comes over, times u raised to the negative 3 plus 1, so that's negative 2, divided by this, so that's divided by negative 2, plus c. And if I write, and if, uh, if I rewrite it, I get negative u to the negative 2 over negative 16 plus c. No, it's actually, it's just u to the negative 2 divided by 16, and that's negative, plus c. And now, I'm not done here yet. First of all, we don't like to have negative exponents. And second, we have to replace the u with a 8x minus 1, because that's what we substitute a u for. So this would equal 16 times 8x minus 1 squared over negative 1 plus c. Again, all I did was u to the negative 2 is the same as 1 over u squared. So this is 1 over u squared and I just substituted u with 8x minus 1. Let's look at one more example to make it a bit simpler. This time we're going to look at a trigonometric problem. So let's take the integral of sine of 5x dx. Now in this case if it was just sine of x dx we could just take the that the integral of sine x is negative cosine x and those are just properties that you have to uh, just keep, keep memorized because that really helps when doing these types of problems that integral of sine x, the integral of cosine x, uh, uh, the properties of integrals, etc. Those types of things uh, helps to just have them memorized. So, so since we have 5x inside the parenthesis, what we want to do is set u equal to 5x and then du is equal to 5 dx. Again, we don't want 5 dx, we want dx. So we divide both sides by 5. Now we get du divided by 5 equals dx. Now I can just rewrite the problem. 1 fifth times integral of sine of u du and now I can just integrate. One fifth times integral of sine u is negative cosine u plus c. And now I'm not done again. I have to replace the u with 5x. So I get negative cosine of 5x over 5 plus c. And that is the final answer for that problem. Uh, that, that's, that's it for the basics of u-substitution. Uh, and again, practice makes perfect. Uh, so keep on practicing. It will get easier. And if you have uh, questions com or comments, uh, comment down below. And uh, if, if you need more clarifications, and uh, I see that it's a... Uh, uh, common thing then more people need uh, clarification. I will make another video on new substitution and please subscribe to help our channel grow. Thank you for watching.